Now, welcome back to the channel, all my hustlers and grinders and go-getters, and we're back with another video. It's Matt in the JoJo. And in this video, we are going to talk about how do you know when it is time to make this be your full-time hustle if it's only your side hustle. We often get the question, how do you know and how do you take that leap of faith? And we're going to answer some of those questions because nobody knows better than Matt, who started this corporation now as just a side hustle. So make sure you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Now, are you ready to get this money, JoJo? I'm always ready to get this money. Let's get it. Check it out, we are at the first job of the day. And you probably can recognize where we're at if you've been watching us for a while. So this is a senior facility and they call us to clean out the studio apartments when people pass away. So this is our first job of the day. So take a look at it. today is the U-line cart and that comes in really handy because we are on the ninth floor so it fits in the elevator and also at a job we came across these trash cans and what's great about these is they actually have wheels you can fill it up and then just like roll them around roll them into the elevator and down nine flights that is where our dump truck is set. So let's get to work. And we actually have more trash downstairs. So we have at least two loads here. The Julio's at the dumps right now, dumping another load from yesterday. We couldn't dump it yesterday because it got too late and we're super busy. But other than that, he'll be here soon. And one thing you don't want to do in this business, when you start it as a side hustle, don't try to grow too fast. Don't think because you have a good January, February, March, you make hell of money that you're gonna go out and buy a bunch of vehicles and have a bunch of payments, start small. And my best advice for you, if you're starting a business like this, is work the four seasons and know exactly what it does when it's raining, when it gets cold, if it snows. You wanna build your clientele and let the market tell you what to do. And here's a little tip, when jobs are more time consuming, charge more money. Now, one cool thing about the trash business is you always find Christmas presents when you're picking up trash throughout the year. All the time. All the time. Someone's getting some socks this year, JoJo. I'm putting these over here. How about what you need to start this type of business? You don't need the biggest, the baddest truck. I know we have two dump trucks and a dump trailer right now, but we started with a pickup truck, an old school 2002 long bed Toyota Tundra V6. That's exactly how you can start and test the water. That's exactly right. Really what you need to do to start is simply start. And one of the biggest factors is going to be your population. Check that out and also see how much competition you have. If you have 1-800-GOT-JUNK out there, Junk King out there, our college hunks out there, what does that mean, JoJo? That means that there is money to be made in your area. Competition is a good thing. Now, there's a lot of junk haulers around the world saying, we're slow, there's too much competition, my phone's not ringing, there's a bunch of tire kickers, the crackheads are taking our jobs. In reality, that wasn't your job. What you 
want to do is build a brand that people remember and trust. So you want to flood your area with bandit signs, door hangers. You want to advertise consistently every single day on social media. So when that person does need something hauled away, they know you. Your branding did the job. Show. <laughs> ready for it? All the stuff? Nah, it's not that bad. I'm ready for the day. Let's do it. An answer, true or false? Does the mafia run the trash business? I plead the fifth. Because he lets everyone go first. Like, go first, man. He sees a lady, go first, lady. He sees a guy, go first, go first. Go ahead, go first. <laughs> so his new name is Go First, AKA Milk Daddy. AKA the gentleman. The <laughs> gentleman. <laughs> Mr. Go First. So truck number one is full. This is truck number two. And let's see what we got. We still got a few more items upstairs. And then back over here, we have a couch, a refrigerator, a stove, and a couple shopping carts, I do believe. There you go. And also a box spring. Timestamp, it is 11.20. The Julio got the last little bit. I got this dresser. Everything is cleaned up. We left the chemicals here, because we don't take those, and we grabbed the other stuff that was downstairs. So now we're heading to the dumps and heading to the next one. Talk a little bit of trash and Joe Joe what do you want to talk about well when we went live last time we had somebody leave a comment that said how would they transition into making this their full-time hustle if the job that they currently have pays really well with a pension and everything but they are simply not happy what I would do is do it on the weekends, do it after work, and if you're at a job you don't like and you're miserable and you're around a bunch of people that aren't happy too, you gotta change your surroundings and go after what you want. You wanna be happy in life. Every single day you wake up with a choice and me and the Joe, Joe, we're positive people. Everyone that's negative in our life, we just block out. So you have a choice every single day. You can change that situation you're in. So if you're not happy, go after your dreams and make shit happen. Ain't nothing better than working for yourself and never working at a nine to five ever again, unless they're taking good care of you. I know a lot of these nine to five people, they'll replace you super fast. You're just a number. Keep that in mind. Yeah, keep that in mind. You only get one life. So you may as well be happy. You may as well like what you're doing every single day for eight hours a day 40 hours a week so you know and you might end up making a little less money at first especially if the job you're leaving pays really well but just think about it because being happy nothing replaces that and Joe Joe can I tell you something what? 
I'm a happy ass trash man. <laughs> and ever since a little kid when I was knee high, I wanted to be a garbage man. And guess what, Jojo? I'm living my dreams to the fullest. Living the dream. So I'm a very happy man that picks up trash. I might not smell the best all the time, but guess what? We make good money. We find cool stuff all the time. And if you can see that Jojo's bringing some paper towels home. She also, she can't even sit in the damn car. Look, her feet are on top of stuff. <laughs> she has a laptop and a bunch of other stuff. So it's like a treasure hunt every single day in the trash business yeah i really 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 like this business it's great so jojo here's the real question what's your prediction of the dump fee on this one back here the julio's dumping the other one at west coast metals then the dumps in windsor because he has another job he has to head to so just for this one right here what's your prediction you know it's super hard for me because i didn't load it at all at all i just i emptied out the drawers and the closet. Let, let me help you out real quick, Jojo. Okay. I'm gonna say 167 because that mattress back there, I do believe has bed bugs. So we're not gonna cut it up. We're just gonna dump it. And that's gonna cost 50 extra dollars. Okay. So I'm gonna say 95. $95, Jojo, did you hear what I said? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think anything's super heavy. I think Julio has all the heavy stuff. Well, we'll find out. Leave a comment down below what you guys think. So we're heading to the dumps right now. And uh, yeah, you yeah, ready? I'm ready. Let's go. It was 151 and check this out too our class road to success is full, it is full. Yay. so congratulations to all the people we picked and uh, we can't wait for the mid-october classes to start because it's gonna be off the hook so now we're heading to the gas station i'm gonna get some gas and how much is gas out where you're at right now it is five 19 to 549 for a let it out here in california so leave a comment right now how much are you paying jojo it is high right now huh it is high right now it always goes up around labor day weekend so there you go so it is what it is we're heading to the gas station i'm gonna get an herbe mate some salt and vinegar peanuts and uh head to the next one are you ready yeah and check this out guys that's what you call hauling and balling right there baby that's you see that? Load. That's that was heavy. <laughs> That's called Tetris skills right there. Stacking yeah. that bad boy. So now we're heading to the gas station. So guess what? We stopped at the gas station and they're closed. And me and the JoJo are fiending for some salt and vinegar peanuts. I love the salt and vinegar peanuts, so I love salt and vinegar potato chips, and they're not that healthy, so I thought, oh, I really want the peanuts. They were closed. I guess we'll have to check them out and see if they have them on Amazon. Maybe they do have them, like they had the pretzels that we like from Costco during the Christmas time. Yeah. We had these pretzels from Costco that were like peppermint white chocolate they were so damn good we got them one time went back there like a week later to grab some more bags and what happened jojo they said they didn't carry it anymore so guess what matt vick did he did some research and bought like 10 bags <laughs> offline and guess what i ate those like in a month and i had a dad bod back then but i've been working on my body because of the wedding we have our wedding coming up september 20. second and i do believe that's like in 22 more days jojo how's it feel it's getting here. It's getting so close. I'm getting scared. She might try to take me for half my shit. She already says she wants the SL500. She wants the FJ Cruiser and the dump truck. One of the dump trucks. One of the dump <laughs> trucks. I said she can have this newer one because we still owe money on it. But anyway, so me and the JoJo went to go bid a job right now. Why the Julio went and bid a job. And guess who got the job? Julio did. He's knocking out a full load right now in Santa Rosa. And the customer is going to get back to us. She has to talk to her husband. And I do believe she's going to call us back. Yeah, actually, this scenario, I think, isn't 
it, it, it isn't that we're never going to hear from her again. She um, Actually, I think they're going to get more stuff together, and it's going to end up being a bigger job than it looked now. I like the way you think, Joe. Yeah, Joe. it'll be a bigger job. So guess what that means? We're back at the house even sooner, Joe. Joe, how's it feel? Our day is done, and Julio's still out there making money. Rocking and rolling. You gotta love the Julio. And a couple finds that we found today is a brand new wallet for Moa. And the JoJo got a laptop still in the damn box. Who does that? Who buys shit and doesn't use it? Not even opened up yet. So it's an HP Chromebook. So I don't know. Probably sell that or put it to good use. That's a bag of unopened. Brand new socks. And so that's what my brother will be getting for Christmas. Some socks. <laughs> and also, what else, Joe, 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 Joe? What's this? It's a lock. Joe, Joe got a lock. Nice lock. And all kinds of bags. You never have enough bags when you're doing junk removal. And that's one cool thing about the trash business is you always come across paper towels, TV, ear picks, Q-tips laundry detergent you never need to buy that stuff ever if you're in the trash business yep and a great big thing of gorilla tape so if the jojo acts up you know what i'll be doing duct tape her ass up or just for fun or just for fun anyways is there anything else you want to talk about jojo no we covered it so remember if you are at a job and you hate it and this looks like it might be more entertaining for you start it as a side hustle you never know it could change your life and that could be any business that could be a car detailing business that could be a painting business a handyman business like the redneck right now is doing the handyman service business and he is loving it it's a lot of work that goes into running your own business but let me tell you like this at the end of the day it's worth it so make sure you guys smash that like button if you like this video, if you love me and the JoJo, and we'll catch you on the next one.